this video, we will finally use the objects that we have replicated in the previous video to create sales quotes in SAP Sales Cloud, request pricing information from S4HANA, and create a sales order as follow-up document for our quotes in S4HANA. After that, we will review the created sales order in S4HANA and finally have a look at the messages that have been exchanged between the systems. Let's go. Log into SAP Sales and Service Cloud and navigate to the Sales Work Center. View Sales Quotes and create a new one. Make sure that our document type for the follow-up scenario is chosen. Then we choose the accounts that we have replicated in the previous video and enter an external reference. The other values should be okay as they are. Currency, sales units, organization, distribution channel and division should have been assigned based on the account's sales data. If not, you have to double check the determination settings in fine tuning or adapt them manually for the moment. Then we can add our replicated product and select save and open. That takes us to the thing inspector a detailed view on the sales quote. Now we are ready to request the pricing information from S4HANA by selecting the button Request External Pricing. If this button was not visible, you had to check the document type of the quote, respectively the settings for the document type in fine tuning. As you can see, the total has been calculated and we can see further pricing details on the Products tab. What we can also see here is how it looks. If we haven't maintained all necessary step descriptions during the external pricing setup, this is one of the few positions where the system lets you continue without throwing an error, but instead just showing some cryptic looking codes to the end user. Nevertheless, the values have been calculated correctly and we can go on. We are close to the follow up document creation, but first we have to submit the quote. That triggers internal processes on Sales Cloud side. And you see the status has changed now to pending. Now we can create the external follow up document. That's it on the sales cloud side. Let's see if a sales order has arrived in S4HANA. Log into SAP S4HANA Cloud and open the Manage Sales Orders app. Let's search for recent orders of our sample customer. That looks good. We could have searched by the external reference that we have entered in SAP Sales Cloud as well. Let's have a look inside. Here we can see further details of the order header. And on the Items tab, we can see details on the product. And of course, the net amount of the order that fits the value from Sales Cloud. Let's quickly go back to Sales Cloud and check the status of the quote again. Therefore, we refresh. And we can see that the status has changed again, this time to 1, because due to the successful order creation in S4HANA, an update to Sales Cloud was sent. Now we can have a look at the messages that have been exchanged on the background. Navigate to the Administrator Work Center, view General Settings and open the Message Monitor. Don't forget to refresh the view in case you can't see the latest messages yet. We can now see four messages. The first one at the bottom is the external pricing call. This would usually not show up here because the pricing request is a synchronous call that is triggered from the front end and errors would also be shown in the front end. And the web service message monitor by default only shows asynchronous messages. The two entries in the middle belong to the create follow-up document message. One is an internal one before code list and ID mapping. The second one is the one that was really sent out to SAP Cloud integration. The message on top is incoming. That means it has been received from S4HANA via cloud integration. This is the update message that S4 sent to Sales Cloud after the order has been created and that updated the status of the quote. Then let's view the messages in SAP Cloud Integration. As we can see, it starts with the request sales document data integration flow that is used for the pricing call. And here we can also see some earlier calls. 
then we create sales quote follow-up call and finally the quote update with the notify opportunity or sales quote integration flow. And the important thing, they're all green and status completed. Let's have a look into the last system, as for hana We do this in the message dashboard app. And after checking the filters, we can see two asynchronous messages for the sales order creation and the sales order confirmation services. Like in SAP Sales and Service Cloud, we can't see synchronous messages from the pricing call here. That concludes this video and the video series on integrating SAP Sales and Service Cloud with SAP S4HANA Cloud.